Hello everybody and welcome back once again. My name is Jordan, also known as Jay Monster, and you're watching our 20th, no, that's not true, our 21st historical battle. I'm really excited to show you guys this. It's going to be amazing. It's got an interesting story. I can't wait. So we are doing the Battle of Sternberg, which is a battle fought between the forces of the Empire State Troops of the Grand Duchy of Middenheim, that is who we are playing right now. This is uh, this is them in these swag blue and white uniforms with that wolf on the front of it. It looks awesome. They kind of look like the Northmen from Game of Thrones, uh, which makes me really happy. But anyway, and we're fighting the Beastmen, who are like chaos-twisted half-man, half-beast mutants that live in the forests of Drakwald, primarily. Uh, and this is a smaller scale battle than what we're probably used to in the historical battle series. It is not a major scale. It is not like a major pitched battle, but rather it's an ambush. Now the Beastmen forces are technically ambushing the... Uh, the Empire forces, although it does look a little bit more like a pitched battle, but they are coming out of nowhere, and the Empire forces have only had time to hastily draw a defensive line here. I will explain all of that to you in a minute, but let's get into some story. Now, as I said, this is a small battle between Empire State Troops and the Beastmen that takes place in Drakwald Forest, which is located, I think part of it is in Middenheim, and the other part is in, like, Nordland, or, like, Ostland, or something like that. I think it's Ostland. But, uh... These Empire troops were ambushed while coming to the aid of the village of Sternberg. Um, there had been a lot of beastmen attacks in the area. Uh, there was rumors of a powerful new beast lord that had arisen in Drakwald Forest and was busy destroying all kinds of villages. Uh, two larger settlements as well, those being the settlements of Jägerhausen and Arenberg. And so the frightened villagers of, Mid of Middenheim decided to, uh, to evacuate to the capital city, also named Middenheim. But it wasn't long before the city was overrun with refugees, and its shanty town sprung up outside the walls of the town, of the of the city rather. Kind of like all the all the villagers huddling close together towards the uh, the walls of the city, hoping to get some protection from the soldiers there, like sheep against the wolves huddling together in fear of their lives. Uh, following the sack of Jägerhausen, the villagers of Sternberg, which is a small community about 40 miles southwest of Middenheim, right in the middle of Drakenwald Forest, so they are very er, Drakenwald Forest. They are very vulnerable to beastmen raids, and they became increasingly fearful. And who who can blame them really? The beastmen are vicious, vicious mutants who rarely leave anything but a few shell shock survivors of their raids, if that. You can only imagine the terror, and the anticipation of what to, of what was to come. When the villagers of Sternberg woke one morning to find that their livestock had been torn apart as if by frenzied animals. Some of the, for some of the villagers, this was the last straw. They fled northward along the road to the larger village of Upper Spite. Others decided to take their chances in the forest and fled towards the supposed safety of Jaeger Keep. And they were never seen or heard from again. Now, one man in the village, a cobbler, his name was Wilhelm. He managed to keep his wits wits about him and he fled southwards towards Middenheim in the hopes of finding an empire patrol to defend the village and Wilhelm came across a small contingent of spearmen who were escorting a, uh, a group of handgunners and a mortar and he begged the, the captain Carl or captain Carl Carlrich or no it's Carl Rich to break camp for Sternberg Carl Rich gave the cobbler the seal of Middenheim and told him to ride south to find a group of knights. Uh, these are knights of the wolf, I believe, that his patrol had passed earlier that day. And uh, the patrol was just turning off the road towards Sternberg when suddenly they heard horns and bellowing coming out of the woods. Mm, pardon me. They hurried on towards Sternberg, only to come across the site of a massacre. The few villagers that it remained uh, had been completely destroyed. The only thing left was their gnawed, mutilated corpses, almost barely recognizable. And the screams of the dying echoed for miles around the forest, drawing more beastmen towards the fray with the promise of fresh kill. Suddenly, the Empire troops heard a bellowing roar that thundered out from the, beneath the canopy as a number of beastmen emerged from the forest. They were scythed down in a few volleys of handgun and mortar fire, but they just kept coming and kept coming. Captain Carlrich drew his sword and prayed that the Knights of the Wolf would arrive in time to save him and his unit. Pretty intense, right? So we have Captain Carlrich's unit here, composed of six, no, sorry, eight companies of veteran spearmen and one unit of gold chevron uh, Empire swordsmen, who is to represent Captain Carlrich's unit. Uh, we've also got a couple units of Master 
Oh, pardon me. Master Engineers with Hawkland Long Rifles, one unit of uh, Engineers with Repeater Handguns, and of course, one mortar. And off, off in the distance, luckily, Wilhelm managed to find the Knights of the Wolf and uh, alert them to the peril of this Empire unit. And they are coming to the rescue, but they have a long, long way to go. And there are a lot of enemies between them and the Empire unit that they're coming to relieve. And facing us are the forces of the Beastmen. We've got three medium-sized warbands. They greatly, greatly outnumber us. We are vastly outnumbered by these troops. Uh, and there's one third army way over there in the flank. They all have pretty much the same army composition. Uh, a couple units of Bestigors, three, between like three and six units of Gores, and then a bunch of Ungor spearmen who are fairly easy to break. So we've taken a defensive position here, and we are going to start the battle. I hope you guys enjoy it. They are just coming in within range of our mortars, and we're going to make them pay for it with steel, with fire and fury. Oh, look at that. Just annihilated. Blowing huge holes inside of this Ungar warband. If we can, we should take some shots at these Bestigors. They're going to be a serious threat to our lines. They are very powerful. They they are in stature, like they're much larger than our Empire Spearmen. They tower over them. And their axes are almost as large as, uh, as our Spearmen are, so they're pretty dangerous. Uh, but we need to find... We have a couple units in reserve here. Let's take a look at our formation. We've got our, uh, our front line here composed of like a little bow-shaped line of, uh, of Empire Spearmen. That's because we're going to be attacked on three fronts here, so we have something resembling a line. Up here, we have our reserves. Two units of Empire Spearmen backing up our Hawkland Long Rifles on either side. And in the middle, we've got Wait, our Master Jones, Engineers with their repeater handguns. And finally, behind everybody, we have Captain Carl Rich himself. He's going to compose part of the last line of defense. We have another similar kind of bow-shaped line here in order to meet this three-pronged beastman attack. And we are going to speed it up a little bit because they are taking their sweet time. Oh, oh, I think we hit some of them. Look at that fireworks show. These guys are not at all happy about this. Hold on, I'm just going to take a look at my sound for a quick second here. Oh, we should have some sound. I hope you guys have sound. It says you should. I apologize if it crapped out of me again. It's been kind of notoriously bad lately for, uh, for that happening. Oh! Oh, what did we miss? Looks <laughs> like we just took out some poor villager's hut. Oh, how brutal. I don't think we got too many of these guys. But once they get in range of our Hawkland Long Rifles, which have a massive, Nobody massive ready. range, by the way, we're going to focus fire on those Bestigors if we can. But we do have... We're going we're gonna to start walking our, our Knights of the White Wolf over here, but we do have another army coming over here on our right, which uh, we're going to have to meet. And there are enough of them to overrun our flimsy line of spearmen. Did we hit anybody? Oh, 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 nice. Look at that. Taking the fight to these Bestigors. They are the serious danger here. Our uh, our line can definitely hold against the Ungors. They are not particularly great in uh, in close combat, and uh, the Gores as well have they have a high attack, but they have almost no defense. So they are definitely at the mercy of our spearmen if they try to take them head on. Oh, some more Bestigors over there. We're gonna have to pick our targets very carefully. How are these guys doing? unit of Bestigors over there. We're going to take some, take some shots at them. Direct hit right into these guys, collapsing <laughs> this uh, this house here on top of a few of them. Brutal. Look at that. That's awesome. We are seriously stretched, though. Let's just, like, look at this. Like, this combined front here set to overwhelm us on the side. These guys hit anybody yet? Oh, start shooting at some of those spearmen. Ooh, can these guys attack yet? Ooh, not quite yet. They're getting there, though. And these guys have brutal, brutal firepower. Like, it's just one after the other after the other. Repeater handguns are seriously deadly. We just have to, uh, just have to keep the beastmen off of them so we can maintain our, uh, our suppressing fire against these, uh, these upcoming beastmen hordes. Oh! I think it's gonna land right in the middle here. Here it comes! Oh, nope, totally missed it. But we did get some of these best doors, which is important. Lava Imperi! 
think we're shooting these guys. We're gonna have to move the captain over here into a position. Yeah, and now he can be instantly, if we move him here, we can uh, move up our spearmen to reinforce him. Let's see if we can get a shot at those bestigors over there. They all seem to be converging on the middle here. Just one big continuous front of beastmen. Just look at that. Oh, hopefully our white our knights of the white wolf get here in time. Brutal. Look at that. Just kaboom. This is a really nice opportunity to take some of these guys down. Bam! Look at that. Serious, serious accuracy coming off of our uh, our uh, our mortar cannon. Oh, looks like we're gonna have to do a little bit of maneuvering here. Move these guys down this way if we can. Oh, the repeater handgunners are opening up. Let's see if we can use them to break a unit of these uh, of these encores as they come in. Oh, here it is. The Uncross have engaged Captain Carl Rich right here. I think he's going to do just fine. Yeah, they don't have a chance in hell. Oh, looks like some... Oh, no, those are just gores. Could be. Victory's almost a certainly distinct possibility. Bounce force is easily... It says they're both victories. A distinct possibility for both of them. I guess it's kind of up in the air. Oh, they're getting butchered. That is not good. Let's have them uh, shoot at these best gores right here. That's probably the biggest problem that we're facing. Hawkland and Long rifle, Rifles are giving them the business. Oh. Move these guys forward. Reposition them slightly. Try and use these guys to, uh, to break this. This group of, uh, of gores right here. Start, sort of free up our, uh, our line a bit. Take some of the pressure off if we can. Victory seems certain. Oh, these gores are not doing well. They're pretty powerful in the charge, but in a pro prolonged melee. The, uh, the Empire's superior discipline and armor is definitely going to pay off for them. Oh, no. Our, re our final reserves here have been engaged just by a unit of Angors. They should do pretty well, I would hope. Oh, where's our reinforcements? Oh, they're within sight. They're within sight. Help is on the way. Let's see if we can uh, redirect... Our cannon fire here, our mortar fire into these, uh, into this huge unit of beastmen over here. A number of bestivores taking cover behind the ruins. It's not going to help them. Let's move these guys onto the side here. Start taking some shots at these, uh, at these ungores. Maybe we can, uh, maybe we can route them. How are we doing on ammunition? We are starting to run a little bit low on ammunition, which is not good. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Wait for it. That's right, feel the fury of the Empire, bitches. How are we doing so far? 16% killed, 22% of our enemies have been killed. Have them start taking some shots into the flank there. Seeing the Empire units in trouble and hearing the din of battle, our Knights of the White Wolf are going to uh, are going to hasten here to the aid of their comrades. So they're going to start uh, they're going to start running, they're going to start charging in. We're going to use them to uh, to break this wing first. Since we're doing that. Move these guys over this way. Put some fire on these uh, on these beastmen on this side. Oh, a unit of bestigors. Let's run them over. Charge for the Empire! Bam! Look at that. Just destruction. We're gonna pull them out of there because those bestigors are deadly, deadly in combat. We want to preserve the numbers of our knights of the wolf as long as we can. Oh, they ran over that unit though. Did not have a prayer. I'm gonna send this uh, this understrength unit here. This uh, this unit that's taking some casualties against these ungors because they're easy prey. Definitely want to uh, preserve the numbers of our empire troops. Oh, 
come on. Looks like those Bestigors have, uh, they've had enough. We're gonna swing around here on either side, and we're gonna hit these, uh, these Gores and these Ungores. So they just ran these guys over. Those Ungores are done. Looks like their reinforcements are on their way in. We just ran out of, uh, of mortar, of mortar ammunition. How are we doing here? Our troops are holding the line. Captain Carwich is still in the game. I pull our knights of the uh, of the White Wolf back before they get surrounded by these oncoming beastmen reinforcements. A lot of gores and ungores in there. It's not something we want to play with. We just ran out of ammunition with our uh, our master engineers. We're going to leave them. They're going to be our uh, our last, last line of defense, like our desperate, desperate last need, we're gonna throw them into the battle. Because they're pretty much useless in close combat. Oh, look at this brutal charge here, just wiping out a wave of gores and ungores. I'm gonna send them screaming back to the woods. Tell a tale to all of their beastmen buddies of the brave Empire soldiers that kicked their ass. Alright, we're gonna move this unit of spearmen around here to, uh, to flank this unit of bestigors who are. It looks like they're getting the better of our spearmen on that, uh, on that wing. What do we got here? These guys, these best guards definitely need to get shots. So we're going to focus all of our remaining Hawkland, uh, long rifles on them. Oh. Looks like we've wiped out another wave of beastmen reinforcements. We're going to pull our cavalrymen back. We're going to use them to launch another charge into these, uh, advancing beastmen reinforcements. We're starting to thin their numbers quite a lot here. There are lots of them left, though. Looks like uh, some of these Bestigors here are charging in. They're going to outflank our spearmen. In response, we're going to send a couple units of, uh, of Knights of the Wolf into their flanks. Yeah, saw this coming. They're going to try and reinforce, sucker our cavalry in with their light, uh, their light spearmen, but we're going to run them over. Bam! Oh, these aren't spearmen. These are, uh, these are gores. These are, like... Fairly decent light infantry close combat units, but not a match at all for Knights of the White Wolf. How are we doing over here? One of our uh, units is pretty under strength. They've taken some uh, significant casualties. But we did manage to route those Bestigors and free up more of our infantry on the flank, so that's a big deal. We're slowly, slowly chipping away at this Beastman line here. I'm going to pull them all back, get ready for another charge. Still a unit of Bestigors there. We're going to send another... We're going to send another charge into their ranks. Another unit over there. Oh, this is a tough battle. We're just... We're beating them back, and every time we do, there's more of them to take their place. Oh, pull those guys back. Come on. They did not get a very good charge off, unfortunately. Go, go, go. Let's see how this goes for them. Charge! Bam! Just hit them hard. It's taken a lot to break these guys, though. They're definitely holding on. What are we doing here against these guys? Well, looks like they're starting to take some casualties. Oh, is that a... Oh, no. Captain Carlrich! Captain Carlrich has fallen in battle! Oh, <laughs> General Harold, it's totally Captain Carlrich. Just don't pay attention to that. Unfortunately, that is the end of our unit of Empire Swordsmen. Looks like they've been routed. How are we doing on that side? Uh, we're going to send one of our more healthier units of the uh, Knights of the White Wolf over there. They're, they're starting to be worn down. They've dealt a lot of damage to these Beastmen, but there's just so many of them. Hit that hit that main line, and then we're going to hit the, the reinforcements coming in here. Try and break them. They're shaken. This might be what they need to be routed off the field. Bam! Look at that. In the meantime... Our Empire Swordsmen have routed, and our Spearmen are in trouble on this side. So we're going to hit them with our, uh, with our most powerful unit of the White Wolf. Oh. So we managed to route them, at least on the on our left wing. There's still a lot of Beastmen to go around, though, and they still have a lot of reserves. Looks like our Knights of the White Wolf have been trapped. What we're going to do is we're going to send... We're going to attack them. Oh, we don't have any, any units to... Oh, yes, we do. We have a unit of Spearmen right here. We're going to send them into the fray, send them charging into the ranks of these best of yours. Maybe not the best idea, but these Knights of the Way Wolf need to be supported. Oh, looks like one of the Beastmen General went down. That's going to be, that's definitely going to be what we need right now. Oh, these two units of Knights, Knights of the White Wolf 
there's almost no point in pulling them back at, the, at, uh, at this juncture. We're going to have them fight to the death. These guys, though, are still combat effective. They can still be used for something. Pull these guys back. We're going to get some distance here and then form up for a charge. Oh, looks like our... Oh my god, all of our spearmen are in full retreat. The beastmen might just have the day here. We still have some troops left. We're going to throw them into battle against these gores. How'd these guys do? Oh, they got butchered. They did not do well against that, uh, that Bestigor charge. It was probably not the best thing that could have happened. Uh, let's take these guys, throw them into the flanks here, and maybe they'll be able to uh, stand up. Oh, our Knights of the White Wolf. They've just been annihilated. Brutal, brutal battle. It did not help losing our general. That was a, a big deal. I'm going to send them into the backs of these... Uh, Bestigors here, one final glorious charge for Sigmar. Eat it! Nice, took down another one of their generals. We're gonna pull them out. Oh, most of our forces are in full retreat. Apparently, victory is certain at this uh, particular stage of the battle right here. Beastmen forces, their casualties are—it's in the—it's in the thousands, definitely. Hit these Ungors here. Maybe we can break them. Maybe. They've lost... They've lost two, two out of three Celestia Generals have been killed. Oh, come on. Just die. Just freaking die. We're going to leave them in there to fight to the death. That's all we can do at this point. Maybe we can break these Ungor Spearmen here. Come on, guys. Do it. For Sigmar. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, they're shaking. Oh, they're gonna get the charge off. We're not gonna be able to reload before they catch us. Crap. Hit those bestigors. Get one. Get one volley off. Just do it. Nope, they're gonna rout. They don't like it. They don't want none of that. Looks like our Empire forces have been routed. The village of Sternberg. We valiantly defended our positions. We've made just a wall of beastmen. But it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. There were still several hundred of them left. It wasn't it. We did not have the numbers to beat them. And when our general went down, that was the end of it. Let's take a look at the casualties inflicted here. Like, we did some serious damage to them. Master engineers with the repeater handguns. A lot of damage. Our Knights of the White Wolf each had hundreds and hundreds of beastmen killed each. Unfortunately... It wasn't enough. So that's the end of our episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, not sure what's going to be coming up next. Probably, hopefully, some... Uh, I was thinking some Mountain Blade Warband and then a little bit of Vampire. And then some more Lorien would be kind of cool. Uh, but there's also another game that I want to bring to you guys' attention. And that is Subnautica, which is amazing. I just have to find a way to kind of get the sound to an acceptable level where you can actually hear me. And, you know, then we can actually do a couple series on that because it's a lot of fun. But, uh, yeah, I will see you guys next time. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you later. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.